Hello, welcome back to the Cricket Nerds. Uh, Zach and James back again. We are improvising again, so apologies for the bad audio. Um, but we are giving you another IPL reaction. It was Rajasthan Royals who overcame the Royal Challengers Bengaluru. And I've got a very disappointed Zach next to me. Um, how, how you feeling, mate? <laughs> I mean, RCB, not, not a great performance, was it? I think you were being kind by saying they overcame RCB. I think it was more they just walked and, and won. It just it just mm -hmm. felt like it was quite easy for, for the Rajasthan Royals at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, there, there were positives for RCB, given that Virat Kohli scored a century, uh, and it was a very good century. I mean, it was a classic Virat century in that he didn't really strike that quickly. Ideally, I would have liked to have seen that strike rate of closer to 180 if you're going to score an IPL century. It was the slowest IPL century ever. Joint slowest, I should say. Um, but there was no one else really to support. I mean, Faf Dupsi, 44, but again, scoring quite slowly. And there was no one who really made that 200 strike rate, 20 of 10 balls that you kind of need at the back end to push you up to that, that competitive 200 plus score. Because really, we all got to the end of that that innings thinking RCB a, a light there. Um, even you as a neutral, from the neutral perspective, felt like RCB were were quite a few light, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I I, I felt a little bit hard done by um because mm. I am far more neutral fan. I yeah, I like both teams. Um I there aren't many teams I dislike in the IPL really. Mm. Um but yeah, I, I wanted to see RCB do well because I wanted to see Rajasthan get challenged and they weren't really. I think it it was at least 10 runs short mm. on that pitch. Um, you're absolutely right in that Kohli's century was good. He was just, he wasn't ably supported at all. And it meant that he had to slow down and he, he couldn't attack. Um, and he didn't attack. Mm. And that maybe, maybe he should have done. Um, but you're right that there was just nobody around him that, that, that stuck around or put in a helpful cameo. Saraf Chauhan, he was on my list of ones to watch. Um, but he only lasted six balls and it was quite a soft dismissal, but he still hit a six and that yeah. it shows the type of player that he is. We saw it in the side Nostra Kali trophy that he's a six hitter. He's a high intensity and aggressive player. Mm. And that's the kind of person that RCB need. Um, yeah, Faf, it was almost, I'd say borderline match losing innings mm. uh, just because you can't have Kohli and Faf playing the same way where they slow down in the spin overs. You yeah, need yeah. one of them to be the aggressor. Yeah. And when um, when Maxwell went out and they were obviously bowling spin because that's what you do against Kohli and Duplessis, mm. then they bring in Maxwell, um, which was probably the play because they were like, we're getting tied down by spin. Let's bring in one of the greatest spin hitters in T20 cricket. And... Rajasthan make the really clever player bringing in Nandre Berger, yeah, who bowls rockets, and we it's a documented fact that Glenn Maxwell struggles early in his innings against fast bowling, mm. and that's exactly what we saw. He looked like a um, a cat on a hot tin roof. He yeah. was clueless, and he played one of the worst shots I think I've ever seen, <laughs> um, the worst three balls of cricket yeah, <laughs> he's ever played, great. and. He got cleaned up, and it's been an it's been um it's been like watching Maxwell of of Punjab, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, you look at Maxwell play in the last game when he played against um, Mayank Yadav again bowling rockets. Maxwell tried to take the attack, but he just spooned it into the circle, didn't he? So, yeah, he's definitely got that that struggle. And someone like Cameron Green has that ability against the quicker bowling, but he isn't in form. And that's mm. that's costing RCB. He, he's still a young player, is Cameron Green. He's still got a, a lot of um, cricket in him to to be one of the best in the world in the future. But why didn't we turn to someone like Dinesh Kartik, who's so much more experienced? Why did we bring in Saurav Chauhan at number four? Maybe he's got a good six-hitting ability, yes, but it's a high-pressure environment. Why not bring in someone like Rajat Patadar in that situation? I don't know. So... For me, there were a lot of head scratching when I was watching this game where mm. I was like, why are we making these decisions? Like there were is issues in the selection. I mean, our top wicket taker last game, but our best bowler figures figures wise in the last game was Glenn Maxwell, didn't bowl. 
our best bowler who who play, had the best figures throughout the whole season in Vijay Kumar Vaishak didn't play. Our best hitter who's looked the most fluent throughout the whole tournament in Mahapal Lombro didn't play. Like why? Mm-hmm. That's my only question. Is, yeah. is why did some certain players not play and then why did we mess up with the order? There's it's just they're obviously trying things RCB and it's not working. And then you've got kind of got to think, well, what would work? What makes the most sense and just go with that because it just seems nonsensical from from a lot of the decision that making that's taking place. And everyone's saying it. It's not like it's it's just one person. It's not like it's just me or just mm-hmm. us. Like you look on social media, everyone's saying the same things. It's almost like it's even the neutrals, the commentators, the pundits, they're all saying the same thing about RCB. Why is it that the management of RCB can't see it? Like that's just I don't get it. Yeah, it, it is bizarre because, as you say, all the fans seem to understand it and mm. they know exactly what needs to be done. Yeah. Um, and I think there are a lot of people crying for change now. Mm. Um, we put out some potential 11s for the next match. Uh, if you want to check that out, check it on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Um, we put them out. We put a poll out as well. So vote in that who you think is better mm. or just reply with, which 11 yeah. you actually want to see or refine yeah. the comments as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's there, there, there needs to be change because <laughs> it's a, it's not great. It's all four, over the four losses it, in five games. No, it's, it's yeah. not, it's not what you want. It's no. not the start that they're after. On the other hand, start that Rajasthan absolutely were after mm. was this where, you know, they're, they're winning games with relative ease. It's got to say that they, they almost didn't really have to push it. No. They played pretty simple cricket. Um, they bowled to a plan. And the plan was to contain yeah. uh, the top two because you don't really need to go searching for wickets. You just bowl spin against Coley and Duplessis and you know they're not going to attack it. Yeah, they're, go- they're, they're not the type of players that will ever throw away their wickets. They are. They, they, will, they will take advantage of the gaps and they had an okay power play. But as soon as spin was brought on, they get scared. Mm. They don't go for lofted shots. They try to nerdle it around. The, the the tempo drops, and instantly, you know, you've used up half of the wick, half of the overs. Yeah. Uh, more more than half. It's fourteen overs. So it's happened for the last two seasons. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it is becoming too repetitive now. It's like well, Duplessis and Coley opening the batting. Really good start in the power play. Spin comes on, they don't go anywhere. Yeah. It's like well, one of them needs to understand you just got to take the risk. Even if you get out, there's players like Maxwell who can come mm-hmm. in. You know they're going to have to bowl enough overs of spin. Uh, but if you look at the spinners today, I mean, Rajasthan Royal spinners, we know Yuzvendra Chahal is a good bowler. We know Ravi Ashwin is a, is a really good bowler. And they only went for 62 runs across those eight overs, less than eight yeah. and over combined, which is is really impressive. And they picked up two wickets. And even then, there were drops as well. And That's there were drops. worth yeah, mentioning they, they that Ra- Rajasthan fielded horribly. Oh, yeah. Were... Um, sec- I mean, you know, they, they were still, uh, they still didn't manage to get second place mm-hmm. in the fielding awards. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, RCB kept on just letting the ball go to the boundary. Yeah, there were some horrible mistakes. But uh, yeah, yeah, like they, Rajasthan almost gave RCB a few opportunities. Bowling mm-hmm. Rian Parag for an over. Um, and he actually looked threatening. He put down a court and bold opportunity. That, that yeah. there's, it, it's there are very many issues. Um, there, there, there are a lot of issues with RCB, but Rajasthan they bowled to a plan. They understood exactly who they were facing, and then it was pretty steady. I think yeah. Josh Butler coming into form is huge. Mm-hmm. It was an it was a good century. It was a fast right. knock. Um, he he. he paced his innings quite well, I thought, because mm. as soon as there was pressure, he did slow down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but any loose deliveries he was he was trying to put away. Yeah. Um, is it worth me- I'm gonna mention it. Jai Swall, horrible yeah. form. Oh, oh, yeah. What's going on? I was not I, I think I put in I think you put Guy Quad as your prediction yeah. for the Orange Cup. I put Jai Swall. Yeah. Between he- us we've we've made horrible, horrible oh, predictions. Yeah. I mean I- it was a good piece of bowling from Reese Topley. He was the standout for me in the RCB bowling lineup today, um, and he's definitely one that should stay stay in the squad or stay in the team um, as long as he doesn't get injured, which we know is, is possible. Yeah. But yeah, Yashasvi Dryswell seems to be lacking in form, and it's a good job that Rajasthan have some other players who seem to be in good form. Sandhu Sampson 
we saw how well he played in the first game. He's played very well here as well. And it seemed like his dismissal on another day would have hit that off closer to the middle and got it for six. Like it yeah. was it was a very good good innings from him. Rian Prague didn't fire today, but he's been outstanding all tournament. Middled it to midwinket. Middle, yeah, middled yeah. it to midwinket. So and then yeah, Ravi Ashwin he's he can apply that anchor role if needed. So they've got a very good settled side of Rajasthan, which is the difference. Um Rajasthan, their top four is very settled and doing a good job. Um, and everyone else can kind of flow and, and fill in that role if needed. And their bowling looks strong. I mean, you compare their spinners with RCB spinners. RCB went for more runs and half the overs from a spin point of view. Um, uh, now, I'm saying that RCB's paces did a decent job, but it, yeah, it just seemed too easy for, for Rajasthan Royals, who are proving themselves to be the, the front runners in this competition. I mean, without Mumbai India performing well and with Chennai Super Kings lacking lately, I just don't see how Rajasthan Royals are going to be beaten unless they come up against a Kolkata side who are going to smash 300 against them. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's the thing. I, we haven't seen Rajasthan really be tested yet. No. They have been um, very, just very steady. It, it, mm. It's felt like it was easy for them. Yeah. So they've got Gujarat next, who they are agree, yeah. a very mixed side. Um, they, they, didn't, they didn't play very well against Punjab, no. but they have that ability to to really string a few wins together and mm -hmm. with their bowling as well they could take out that top order which yeah. would would hurt Rajasthan yeah um RCB they've got Mumbai next which it, 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 at the moment it feels like battle for the wooden spoon <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all right Mumbai will come to form oh, and then they'll take the whole competition it's just <laughs> It's just it's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, may maybe, maybe. <laughs> or RCB, then just kick into gear. Um, oh, maybe awesome. maybe RCB will actually play Will Jacks. He'll take that's five for and score a ton. Yeah. yeah. Or, or awesome. they'll play him and he'll get nothing. <laughs> but either way, we are really, really interested to hear what you guys think. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Become a member if you want to get some more exclusive content and to support the channel. And leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Let us know what you thought of RCB. Let us know what you think of Rajasthan. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.